Hey guys, Sean Terry here, flip2freedom.com. Hope you're doing well. All right, now in this video, I want to take you into our 2023 scorecard um, and show you what a virtual wholesaling houses scorecard looks like and the KPIs that we track on a weekly basis basis. So um, this is critically important because if you're going to scale your business, you have to know the KPIs that move the needle um, in your business that will create a massive amount of you know success and, uh, and profitability. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take you in uh, to our scorecard right here and then be able to uh, kind of break down all the KPIs. We have multiple different tabs and we'll show you what that looks like and how it works. So if you're ready to go out there and crush in 2023, wholesaling houses nationwide, learn how to get leads from all across the entire country and go out and make 10, 20, 30, $40,000 a year, uh, uh, a deal or millions of dollars a year. If you could hit the like button, that would certainly help out or hit the subscribe button. So you do not miss out. We're going to cover some incredible stuff here on all these videos that I guarantee. And I got like 200, almost 300 videos here that you can watch all about wholesaling houses from negotiation uh, to scorecards. And they've adapted and changed over the years I've been doing this. So let's get in the computer. And uh, there it is. Boom. The 2023 scorecard. Now, we have it populated for the first two weeks, uh, of course. So we have it. This is a quarterly. So this is each quarter goal. Then we have monthly, right? Um, and we have each month. Um, and then we have a sales pyramid. This is our sales team and they're what we track with them. Um, this is a, a sales team there. We got marketing performance. These will be updated for each month and it gives us all our KPIs. We look at our marketing from a marketing standpoint. This is probably the coolest thing on the planet. This is a real time projection tool that basically projects out your total revenue and profitability um, based upon current metrics that you're running at. So it will take from your uh, dashboard right here and then take those numbers, project it forward over the next 12 months, um, and it'll show you what, what type of revenue you're going to do and the profitability that you will be at. So we have the current year to date projections, current month projections, and then the previous ones, so we can do a comparison uh, in our numbers. We also have um, comparison charts when it comes to our uh, PCs and what they're doing. Uh, we do comparison between uh, leads per contract, new leads per deal. It's an important number. Uh, we'll talk about that. We have a direct mail manager. We got some direct mail going out next week. So we'll kind of do that. And then we have a speed to lead tracker. So each month we track the lead how uh, on on hours right? We're working. How fast do we respond to a lead off hours? How fast do we respond to a lead and weekends? How fast do we respond to a lead? I want to know how fast we respond to, uh, to leads right now. We're about under 10 minutes. It's too long for me. We're trying to get in the matter of minutes. It's very difficult to do when you, when you run a sales team. So, um, let's look first off and we'll start on the monthly right here. This is January. These are updated numbers. Um, these are last from, from the first two weeks of January. So cost per lead, right? This is our cost per lead. And that's the cost of a cost. And it's $106. We are marketing nationally. Um, and uh, we do direct mail. This is, doesn't include direct mail, but we got direct mail and pay-per-click advertising. Bing and Google AdWords are two, basically our sources to generate leads. So we're running about $106. We want to be at 100, so it's a little bit high right now. Total leads generated, so we want to do at least 500 a month. Currently, so far for the first two weeks of January, um, we got 275 leads generated so far. Total cost, 120,000. Total cost to run the operation on a monthly basis. We're currently at 68,401. Marketing expense, $50,000 a month. Um, we're currently running at 29,000. Cost per deal, 2,500. This is 4,800. This should come down as we sign more contracts. Um, Non-viable leads, right? 
these are our total non-viable leads as well of uh, 150. Um, non-viable leads, and people ask me, you know, what what the heck are non-viable leads? And that's a you know, great question. Non-viable leads are leads that come in our system um, where it's either like a, if you're running pay-per-click advertising or even direct mail, you got other wholesalers, you got properties that are listed, you got um, properties that just do not work They're out in the middle of nowhere, you can't do anything with, there's no activity. It could be a mobile home that's not on a piece of land, it'd just be a, a straight mobile home. Um, you could have spam, you know, spam, you know, could be people that say, take me off your list, you know, take me off, you know, stop, stop bugging me or whatever it might be. Those would be considered non-viable leads. So when it comes to non-viability, we want to track our non-viability percentage uh, based upon, you know, the amount of leads that we get. So we got total viable leads, 180, 95 are junk. So we paid $106 for 95 leads that are complete junk. That's just the nature of the beast, unfortunately. It's just going to happen in pretty much every marketing channel. So lead viability percentage, we're currently running. We want to be at 70. We're currently at 65, 45%. And then we have uh, uh, deal metrics, uh, new leads per contract. This number, this is a holy grail number. This number really impacts your entire business. We're at we're at uh, we're at thirty four point three eight. Really, really important number. Um, I'm I'm always working on trying to improve this number and get it better. Um, and then we've got um, leads per contract, leads per close, uh, leads per uh, close contract. That's forty five closing percentage. So it's at 42 and I'll show you right now um, because if I go to projection tool, you'll see right now, currently we have um, $558,000 in the pipeline, closing 15 deals that are going to be closing here in the next couple of weeks. That's a 37,000 average deal size. So the deal size is basically um, our projected deal size when these close. So we have about 558,000 in the next couple, we'll close it out in the next couple of weeks. Um, and if you look at our uh, current revenue, Revenue, we closed about 163,000 so far in the first two weeks of uh, January. So we're averaging a $27,000 average deal size. Our goal is 417 for the month. Um, so when we close this, you know, this 558,000, we should exceed this goal um, or at least come close uh, to this goal when we close them all out. Um, year to date, uh, we got six so far closed deals. Um, we got eight that is contract signed. Um, and here's our quality conversations, talk time and calls. Now we track these. So you understand what those are. Those are a rep's effort, right? So a rep, when we, when we hire someone, we look at their effort and then we can teach their skill. So we're going to look at their dials. Um, we're going to look at their talk time and they're going to look at their quality conversations. That is their effort that they're bringing to the table. Now, you know, making an offer, getting a property under contract and revenue and their spreads and stuff like that. That's all technique we can teach. We do trainings every single week. So the bottom line is, is that we want to make sure that if we're going to hire someone, we want to be able to monitor and basically uh, work with them to be successful. We have to set a goal for them of how many people they, how many dials they have to make a week, which is 200, what their talk time is, what their quality conversations are. So they have a baseline that they can shoot for. And then we know if they're bringing the effort. Now, if they're not bringing the effort, they're going to have a very short time here um, working with us and we'll get on it literally, you know, within a matter of first week or two that they've, uh, they start working with us. So this is critically important. Um, so we have our sales uh, pyramid. These are all basically the KPIs right here. Um, and we track them all the way every single month. And we go through from closed revenues, calls, dials, new leads they got, um, you know, talk time, they have quality conversations. And we have it for each rep. So for an example, let's say, you know, we're, we're trending at um, 34 leads per deal. I can go here at the sales pyramid and I can see, okay, what's happening here on that? And who's having has the highest uh, leads per deal. And look at it right here. If I look at, uh, you know, new leads per contract right here, if I go over, you know, new leads per contract, we have 79. So she's basically trending at 79. We got 35 here. We got 33 here. We've got 19 or we got 38 here. So what I've got to do is I've got to work 
with, with basically, I'm going to work with Alex here to help her get her numbers down more in line. And that's why we're trading at the 45. So I think if we help them get in line, which is working with them and their technique, we'll get that number down and we can get it more than now 25. It makes a, a ridiculous difference in the overall projection tool of, um, you know, this, this leads per deal. So it's at 34 right now and it's pulling it from the, uh, from the dashboard. So all this is automatically populated. So, um, this is, uh, essentially our scorecard. We have it on a quarterly basis, monthly basis. Um, and, uh, and then we have their goals. So people ask me to say, okay, well, I got sales. What should I be doing? You know, so their goal essentially is they want to do $50,000 a week, right? $50,000 a week. They want to get two contracts. They want to have 200 dials. They want to have at least talk time, 13 hours on the phone. And they want to have at least 13 quality conversations. Now, if they do that, they'll sign two contracts, close two contracts, $50,000 in revenue. Revenue. That's our expectation. Um, and then this is our tracking. If it's red, they missed. If it's green, they got it. If it's yellow, they're close. So what this does, it will show us on here where we need help in the scorecard to be able to get it done. So now marketing performance. Um, this is all of our marketing performance numbers when it comes to this. We just type in our, and this is for AdWords, of course, quality conversations. I mean, my, my fault, clicks, uh, con uh, conversions ad spend, number of contracts, closed deals, canceled deals, closed revenue, total cost. So we have that, it'll populate all these numbers for January and it give us the metrics of where we sit from a marketing standpoint um, for January, February, or what we got here, January, February, right, March. So we got each one by quarter. Projection tool, again, this is the coolest thing. So we got average deal size, leads per contract. Um, we got a, you know, a, uh, Daily costs, say 2%, 65% lead viability, $106 cost per lead, 58% closing percentage, um, um, leads per rep. So we give 20 leads per rep, okay? Um, this is our daily ad spend, right? We have labor cost um, and we have commission or commissions paid right there. And, um, and then uh, we go down right here. And we have, uh, these are uh, leads given uh, per month to PCs, 867. We have a million dollars expenses, 365 days. Total projected leads, 10,400. Um, viable leads, 6,800. Uh, projected signed deals, 303, and we'll close uh, 175 of those 303 based upon a uh, uh, the the current closing percentage. So um, now this will obviously change, and these numbers will get better as our as our numbers populate. But it gives us right here a total overall projection. Here's our direct mail. Once we start doing our direct mail, we'll put those numbers in. We'll give us a cost in a uh, direct mail uh, average deal size. It gives us all same metrics for direct mail as well where now we can have 58% closing ratio. Um, down here is uh, all of our pipeline, you know, pipeline revenue that we're talking about, the 558,000. Um, and uh, let me go here. This is a comparison graph. Um, this is a this is like comparison talk time to quality conversations. We've got closed contracts, canceled contracts. So it gives us a visual of what's happening. DM manager and the speed the lead. All right. So this is um, how we uh, track leads. Um, I can tell you right now, doing the business, you know, um, the name of the game is leads and people. If you can um, generating leads is easy. You know, especially if you're nationwide, uh, you can generate leads all across the entire country. Um, and you can direct mail all across the entire country. If you have the ability to convert leads over the phone, then now it just becomes people to handle those leads. So if you're going to hire people and you're going to spend a bunch of money on marketing like we're doing, um, then what happens is you have to have metrics to see where you're projecting and what profitability margin you're going to be at um, if you're going to be able to go out there and uh, and crush it in this market. So I um, hope this helped. This is a scorecard. It's amazing. Uh, people say, hey, how can I get a copy of this scorecard? We, for all of our members that are members up, they get copies of our scorecards that we have. Um, I just did literally a two, uh, almost a three hour Zoom call with members where we went through and uh, went through the scorecards. We talked about how to um, set goals and kind of reverse engineer. If I want to make a million dollars this year, what do I have to do based upon my KPIs? It basically spits out a, uh, a calculation for you. 
We, we create spreadsheets for that. Um, you know, so we have our members. So if you want to learn more about that, just click the link below Bear Market Millions. You can watch the webinar. If you want to become a member, you can. Um, you can be part of a call. We get on calls uh, on a monthly basis. We share, um, obviously, stuff like this, goal cards, scorecards, and, and uh, which, I mean, literally to build this, you couldn't build it. You wouldn't even know what numbers it would be like. I couldn't build it. I had to, I, I have a full in-house analytics guy that all he does is uh, all of our analytics and populates all these numbers and puts these scorecards together and stuff like that, but it's phenomenal. So just click the link below um, and you can learn more about that, becoming a member of the Flip to Freedom family. Um, and you get lots of cool stuff and we are literally get on every single month um, and, um, and uh, talk about cool stuff. So we got a lot of other cool stuff. We got masterminds. We got thing where you can come to my office actually and, and go work with my team on executing deals, calling sellers, making offers and getting properties under contract. So we got a ton of stuff uh, for the business. So um, if you could, you could just uh, hit the like and subscribe button. Hope this helped out. Um, and these are the numbers you need to go know to go out there and crush it if you're doing virtual wholesaling on a big scale. Hope this helps. Talk soon. See you in the next video. God bless.